Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Luke from Locals. Hello. Uh, lots of news to get through today, uh, but we start with our week. How was uh, your week in Lu- Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Luke. Uh, How was your week in Luke? Yeah. Ooh. I thought you were going to say, like, Lugia for some sec. For some sec. For a second. Um, well, I didn't go Tuesday, because it's still kind of awkward. Um, but with that, I did speak to the dude that was there today. I don't know his name, um, because I've only seen him there once. Um, about, like, the time thing. I said, like, like are we going to go back to times that we used to before? And he said that they're still trying to work stuff out. But he said he's going to talk to Andrew, like, the other dude. Um, so apparently he's manager or something. Um, yeah, our man- the manager of our store has not actually stepped foot in our store as far as I'm aware. He's a remote manager. Oh, so the okay. dude that we're there at, who we're angry at most of the time, is just an employee. He's just a dude. Sure. So I asked him, I said, look, like, um, Tuesdays used to be like 7 o'clock, so it wasn't like as awkward. Like, is there a chance where you can go back to that? Like, And he said he's going to talk to... I don't know why they can't they just go back to being seven the dude said I don't see why not so I don't know why so I think the logic is that if it runs after ten then they have to pay the guy that's there like double time or some shit or I don't know um, yeah but it doesn't, it doesn't go like after ten anyway it never went that long a uh, different type of time yeah I don't know so hopefully that kind of sorts itself out but uh, then I uh, and then yeah I played today I played uh, Infernoble fixed up the list finally um I went X1. Got store credit. Woo! Pretty good. Because um, the whole shenanigans from before. Um, it felt pretty good. Uh, I added Appalooza into my action deck because I was looking at um, like refreshing myself with like new combos or anything that popped up. And like Connector and Renard kind of like plays around Nib really nicely. So I added that. That came up a few times. Even like Ben would just like extend into an Appalooza then go for an Angelica. So that was cool. So I learned that. Uh, kind of a bit more comfortable with, with different lines because I know the standard stuff but it's more so like um, how to play with certain hands when I get hand trapped a certain way because sometimes like people hand trap uh, in front of a bit awkwardly like they'll actually Angelica search when you search for the field spell so that kind of makes it a bit awkward so like um, once I learn little niche interactions then I should be cool but it felt good to play uh, in front of again a bit more confident so it was good yeah. didn't play Mars at all so that was it <laughs> Sanj. I yeah, also yeah. didn't touch Master Duel this week. Uh, I, I just, haven't played it. In months, I just but... disregarded Master Duel. Yeah, I know. I did change up my um, as well. So I mean, uh, cut anyone off for about to talk, but like oh. my my uh, side deck and also kind of like uh, like main deck staples, I guess, because I was maining like hand, hand traps like Ash and Droll. I just cut them because I didn't want to play into like, especially for any events coming up. I don't want to play into like Talents and Thrusts. Yeah. So I feel like that's going to be quite relevant. So I'm kind of getting used to that. And I feel like um, Evenly is like quite solid against Unchained, um, uh, Fire Engine deck, in this case, um, and something else I can't remember. Um, so I thought like Evenly in the main would be like solid, so I'm testing that at the moment. So I've been Evenly in the main a lot lately. Yeah, I just it's think like, I just think it's like good against like what we think what I think I would see at events. So instead of siding, I thought it'd be mania and like Infinite would just need one or two cards to combo off anyway. Yeah, which so makes thought, sense. Yeah, but I'm still mainly like core buying talent, so I still have going first cards, you know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It felt it felt solid side deck as well. It felt pretty good. Nice, 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 nice. Ben, um, I didn't win a single locals this week. I mean, of the I two, of the two, it's devastating. Mm. Absolutely devastating. I went X one at both and got store credit. It was nice. Yeah, getting um, so credit. That, that feels good. <laughs> um, yeah, no. I just kind of... What happened Tuesday night? My loss was to Leo. Playing Dragon Link. I've... The last two locals, I have opened a lot of Rescue Ace traps in my opening hands. I'm like, hmm. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. I think at one point today, when I was playing Leo again, I opened two, and then the rest of my hand was pretty unplayable. But then he also opened fairly badly and descended on like a H seals. So like my normal summon one monster threat in the H seals was enough to then prompt that. And then we were fine. Um, but yeah, deck's still going fine. Still doing the same old thing. Still surprises me how much I can like push damage when I need to push damage. Uh, yeah. Deck does a lot. 
Yeah. So it's kind crazy. of just the same thing for the most part. Like you've got a lot of tools in the extra deck, but it's like more consistent. It's yeah. well, yeah, because it just needs one card to do its entire combo effectively. Yeah, like I am now pretty happy with like when I put together my extra deck originally. I was like, I'm never going to use like half of this. I use close to every card in my extra deck, but I think Heat Soul is the one I don't make a lot. Mm. So I'm probably going to cut the Heat Soul for something else that could be of more utility to me, but. Yeah, outside of that, I use it every card. I feel like when you, if you get to that point, you're probably OTKing anyway. Yeah. The heat Soul's kind of just like... like the Heat Soul also just plays into Nib going first unnecessarily. Yeah. You, so, don't, you don't even need to Link Climb when going first. You just need to summon Big Boy in set four. Yeah. I think the play for Heat Soul is you're supposed to, like... If you open, like, the Nuts Go ex- like Extenders, you, like, loop your level one, your Hydrant back, and you make a... Uh, upsy downsies. You make an Almor, uh, Salamin Great Link Two, uh, Sunlight Wolf. Oh, yeah, upsy an Upsy downsies. downsies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you make a Link Rebo under it, and then you turn them into. I was quite and... sad that we didn't get an Upsy downsies in Quartzy Razies. No, we got Upsy downsies in Ghost, Ghost Rare. in Spooky Razies. Yeah, Spooksies. Oh God, it's terrifying. You play it on your opponent like, ah, oh, ghosts, ah. Yeah. What if you could play Lancies and Dropsies and Upsy downsies Quartzy Razies? I'm literally just saying words now. You are. None yeah. of these. None of these mean like, anything. You can. <laughs> you can use lampsies to make your goatsies, your ghosties, upsy downsies. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fire. Um, how was your weekend locals, Jake? It was fine. Um, I don't think I did particularly well at locals, but in saying that, um, I've now got uh, the extra cards and things I need to be able to build a competent list. Uh, so hopefully, I can get shit together and uh, practice a little bit prior to this time next week when there's regionals on. I was going to say, we're going to um, start major events from kind of here on out. Yeah. The biggest issue I see with that is that I'm not 100% like ready with this deck, but everyone is ready with the sides for this deck because this is not the position I imagined myself in when the so, chain was support was announced. I... I'm very concerned that you're playing this really shitty suboptimal build of Unchained and I'm going to come up against someone at a regional and they're going to be playing the optimized version, I'm going to be like, wait, you can do this? <laughs> oh, like, I'm across what most things do. My problem is I don't know what your shit does and I refuse to learn. My shit's very straightforward. Yeah, set traps. Yeah, set four. Get evenly matched. Oh, I my I was my back row like, removal has resolved precisely once against you. That's fine. But I was I was walking past and I like went to the bathroom or something and came back and then all I hear uh, you were versing Ethan. All I hear is Ethan go activate for the Duster. I was like, oh no, Ben. Oh no, that was fine. That was okay. Yeah, that was absolutely oh, okay. No I, think, I think I was gonna make him watch, but I just heard him go Feather Duster. No, he like and you were like you had like your back row. I was like, oh, no. he activated Feather Duster and I was like uh, emergency and then the protect one and all I did was lose like a negation. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, this is. No issue to me at all. Okay. So it's really evenly is the only thing that gives you trouble. Yeah. Like, yeah. he dusted me and then, like, couldn't clear a single thing off my board. And I was like, ah, oh, yes, game. Yeah, because <laughs> you just chain and make your thing, like, untargetable and... Yep. Comp- yeah. Oh, uh, you make it unaffected by monster effects. And then he was going... It was turn two at this point. So I was like, this is yeah. an issue. Not many of the things can actually beat over because it's like 3k, 3k. Isn't when it? you do that, it becomes a 4 5 4 5 Shit. So it's four five four five. First time to be destroyed by card effect. It's not. Oh, destroyed by monster effect. By battle. It's not unaffected by monster effects. So like a dark hole clears it. There's not much else that oh. gets around it. <laughs> yeah. Did... So back to my week. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Jake's yeah. done that before. Dark hole. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have done that before. Um, so yeah, still learning out the intricacies of the new stuff. Um, I don't really know if i'm about it like i get it i get why it's there the new stuff like particularly the ddd package i just don't like it i don't think i like it anyway because the amount of times that i've opened just the pendulum is quite bad and the pendulum doesn't do anything on its own like you it's not it's not like opening invoker and meltdown you can't be like oh well it's fine like you have to have both okay yeah, it's very annoying. You yeah. have to not open it and open a trap and the spell. Well, like, if you open both, it's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Because the, one you... the ones that summon have to pop a set card you control to summon themselves? Or is it a spell and trap card? Well, they can pop anything. 
like the the little red guy yep. just needs to pop a card on my field. Oh, okay. The level six red guy yep. needs to pop either a fiend or a set card. Oh, the Uruha. Yeah. So there's like there's not a lot that they can't pop. Yep. But yeah, like I've just been opening quite awkward hands. It may change when I sleeve, as I've said many times. Consistency goes up when you have new sleeves, and these sleeves are quite old. I just didn't want to sleeve too far away from the OTS champs. So uh, at some point through the week, I will pick up new sleeves and see if the consistency improves. If we not, could probably I do will, it for I'll Tuesday, and then that'll probably last till Sunday. I won't be in Tuesday. Well, that causes issues. Oh yeah, like no one's going in Tuesday. Correct. Yeah, right. probably. What's, what's Tuesday? We got other things. Yeah, we do to other oh, things. okay. I thought there was some big thing that I missed. Um, and then yeah, been doing some Master Duel. Um, I'll get into the intricacies of it at, um, soon, but yeah, there's a couple of things coming up that I'm quite excited for. Um, so I guess we'll get into that now. Uh, so starting with Master Duel in our big, big week of news. Um, so we've got the Duel Pass having reset. Uh, we were speculating as to what it would be. Uh, we now know. Uh, so at 50, uh, level 50. Man doesn't even check his his Facebook. Oh wow! Oh. How dare well, he yeah, we'll intend to, to go we'll to work on Tuesday? We'll need to remind him about what he's already said that he's planning on attending on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, you talking anyway, about me? Yep. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, at level fifty, you get an Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum, the vanilla-y thingy background. No one cares about the backgrounds. Uh, at level seventy-five, uh, our new mate is Cross Sheep. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's cute. Is it the murder mystery thing? No. no. Don't speak about our plans on the podcast, otherwise we'll get doxxed. Yeah, we don't want to get. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get doxxed. Um, yeah. So that's a cute little mate. Um, um, so that's just. Start- <laughs> so that's just started. Um, don't so tell give Ben another. <laughs> she watches the podcast. Yeah, yeah. She's got to find out. Uh, that's all right. Oh, the podcast comes out before the thing. So <laughs> Can we just like postpone it until it like, comes out the next day? Um, I mean, I would have figured it out. I just didn't think of it. Like, mm, right now. I swear. Disrespectful. Uh, but anyway, um, so that's just started. So you've got another 30 days before you need to start it, before you finish it to get the thing. So yep. you've still got plenty of time before you have to worry about Master Duel. But also Master Duel, lots of other things are happening at What's the What's that about six samurai sleeves? We'll get to that. Oh, wait. No, we won't. Shh. Um, so mm, at the sure. moment... Um, Did I have, have a leak? I leaked it. Ooh. She and sleeves. Ah! So we <laughs> have... Burned. Two events. Uh, one is currently Jake. running. One will be coming up in a couple of days. Uh, so the first event we have is another monster type festival. Uh, so this one is uh, what's it actually called? It is called um, King of the Island. Uh, so the only five types of monsters that you can run are beasts, beast warriors, wing beasts, insects, and reptiles. Um, so you can't run anything else. So uh, hand oh, traps. The good. worst hand trap is still alive, Maxi. Um, but try to get Maxine. Yeah. So um, you play Diddy Crow, right? You said Wing Beast. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Diddy Crow's a one. <laughs> yeah, but I try, think Maxie's. Get... I think Maxie's a three. <laughs> but Diddy Crow's a one. <laughs> it's so dumb. But you, you only play one in like Trouble Gate, I guess. Anyway, it's because you can DD Crow your opponent's Maxine. It doesn't resolve. Oh yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, yeah MST Negate. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> for whatever reason, when this festival came up. In my mind, I was like, oh, you can only run one type. So I was like, what's the best single type deck that I can play that also doesn't cost a lot? Because I like, I don't give that much of a fuck about the festival. Darklings? He's going to build harpies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not dual links, Ben. Can't, can't. Harpies are not good. Well, I built them. Um, oh. They were fine because Icarus attack <laughs> is not once per turn. <laughs> you also just... Can search harpies for the storm? Can you not? No, ah. it is very hard to search harpies for the storm, and it's also limited. Is uh, thrust in the game yet? No. No. Oh, okay. no. Um, but it does enough. Um, I found that there's like quite a few um, semi back row decks, uh, so I just play harpies hunting ground and start popping them one by one. Sure. Uh, yeah, that, that works. An elegant that... egotist is also not once per turn. Harpies hunting ground on on links was dumb yeah oh yeah so stupid um and also the oh. harpy lady uh synchro is actually quite good i think i've read it yeah i've, the I've played one. it in decks but never read it uh so it's kind of like uh thunder dragon titan it's like if a spell and trap is activated or when a spell and trap is activated 
um, you can then um, target either one of your harpies or one of your opponent's monsters and bounce it back to the hand. Ooh. It is once per turn, which is a little cringe. Ah, so um, Titan better. Well, yeah, but also Titan doesn't have much going on at the moment. No. So on the tier list it goes Titan, House Dragon Maid, this Harpy's Club. Yep. Uh, you'd have to put um, Lady Lab in there as well. Does that do it every time? No. No, no, you just, you just once. Four. Four. Yeah, fuck Labyrinth. Yeah. Shit. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. Well, I say I'm doing that. I'm pretty much done that because I've gotten to the point where I want to get to. Because um, the reward for this event, uh, which you get to, I think it's 5,000 medals, is Kage to Kage. It's too many. It's a lot. Kage to Kage. Remember when that card was good? Yeah. I don't even know what the card is. Uh, it's, it's like, like if you normal standard. summon a level 4, it special summons itself from the hand. It, what's its uh, like attribute and type name? So? Uh, it's a Earth Reptile level 4, and I think it's got like 1200 defense. It's oh, literally just an Xyz extender. Yeah, yeah. okay. Non cyber extender. We yeah. Take, we take those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's the festival that's running at the moment. Uh, I think it'll be running for another week or so. Was it, it was that and Cockadoodle Doo you played it. Those were the old level 4 extenders. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, again, lots of gems on offer for that one. Uh, the one that'll be starting in a couple of days is the Fusion and Xyz festival. You can play both up. Where's my synchros? Nah, fuck that synchros. Um, they'll probably bring in synchros once um, they bring out some more synchro support. So like once Crimson Dragon comes in, because like this will be overrun by Pearly. Oh yeah, that's oh, a fuck. thing, isn't it? Yeah, Pearly will yeah. be everywhere. I'm in definitely this. not getting back into Master Duel now. Ah, just play Pearly. And they could do the synchro on where they give the Visa support. He also says it's going to be overrun by Pearly. That you can still just play Terrellement. <laughs> you could do that, but Terrellement is phenomenally bad right now. Why? Because you only get two fuses per turn. Oh, because they banned Merly, didn't they? Yes. <laughs> ah, yeah. So you've lost Merly, which by extension you've lost uh, Elf. No, Elf. Elf. Yeah. Elf and the other one oh is elf still legal or not? it's still legal but they banned the level 2 that let the yeah, best deck instead of it. banning elf so sprite is still Merly, so quite so you can't reborn it <laughs> maybe I could do the drytron combo with the elf that was fun because you can't reborn full and then you get popped you get like oh. full that could be that could be ban it quick nope <laughs> and is um, uh, Colossus still kicking yeah yeah he's still there oh boy you play thunder dragons in this you could do that you just don't get some summer summoner. Oh yeah, it's not a link. Yeah, you don't really you don't need it. What do you mean you don't get it? Because it's you can't play links. It's fusion next season. Oh, in that festival, yeah, but you could just play them normally. Yes. Um. So yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see what rewards we get for that one, because uh, the full details of that one haven't been issued as yet. Um, they have. You get ninja cards. No. Um. So, moving on, the biggest part of the news this week. Obviously, the new ban list has dropped, coming into effect as of the 25th. So Given how historically kind of shit it was. It was underwhelming. It, it wasn't completely shit. This Lincoln feels it. like they had a ban list that they had to submit to um, corporate by 9am, and they slapped this together at 8.57. And no, that was the one from June 2020. <laughs> yeah, that, that was also That was a great shit. ban list. Which one was that? The one where they were just like... Uh, multi faker and two other cards are at three. Bye. That is all. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's is that. There's the, the COVID one? list. Yeah. Yeah. There's like there's still so many issues with this format they just haven't addressed at all. And now we're in a three plus month area where this shit will be running around but for ages. I would have liked just EV and some other stuff banned, like just those turn skippy cards. Yeah. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of like, get rid of skill drain, D barrier, harpies feather storm, shit like that. Why is everyone not like D barrier at the moment? Am I missing something? What's it doing now that it wasn't doing before? No, no, it just like it's just a toxic card in general because it's just something you can't interact with. Like, because rebrood's banned, so it's literally you flip yeah. it and it literally you, you can't do anything. It's just like but at least with skill drain, you can try and pop it or do something. Like there are ways to add it because it's a continuous. Even like I was playing against goes in anti spell table chat and I was able to like play through them. Um, but like, do you just not 
Like, say if I was to call Sinker on you, would you just not, like, go Appaloosa and the... No, but, like, say I want to try and play Sword Soul for an event. Or just something that's, oh. like, just XZ or just Synchro. Like, it just, it's just... I mean, the same falls for Branded, right? Like, you... Cold Fusion! <laughs> yeah, that's what I just don't... I just don't and think they didn't have another the benefit of, like, a 10 year X esque thing that they can do being like oh i can do a little bit I mean, it's like also one. like uh i know it's like only labyrinth can do it but the fact that they can like set it every yeah. single See, turn i like, thought that kind of toxic thing had been happening and uh, that's why everyone was like i mean it oh, is happening this yeah because it, labyrinth, happening at a level. labyrinth didn't get touched so labyrinth yeah. are going to be at events especially like au events but i feel like getting yep. just hit with eradicator every turn on that same situation is just worse <laughs> Oh yeah, that should be gone too because that's not you can't yeah. interact with that either. Any any that's trap that's about, like, like they can do both. Any <laughs> trap that I think that is like literally like a turn skip or locks you out of something completely that can't be interacted with, I think should just go. Yeah. Like continuous spells, I get a shit in their floodgates, but at least once you remove them, then you can play. It's not like they flip the trap and then it's like oh, you just have to accept it, right? I just like the variant though. Yeah, the card's bad. The card is very very bad. Like, in the same vein that Max C was fine at the time that it was around and now is a toxic card, I think it has to apply to D-Barrier. We've had formats where D-Barrier was worse, though. Yeah, yeah because it Dexu do 17 worse. different things, whereas, like... No, I mean, worse is in, like, more oppressive on the format. Yeah, but you also didn't oh, die yeah. the next turn. Oh, well. <laughs> like, if you're... If so, you're, did if... you take a job at Konami... To... TCG for ban lists? Yes. <laughs> My name is Jerome. Like, imagine imagine Unchained do their, like, medium-ish combo. Well, not medium-ish combo. Like, the, the full combo, because it's, like, more of, like, mid-range stuff. And it's, like, a solid board, but you can break it. But if they just flip D-Barry and say, I've decided to play something synchro-based, like, so I literally just lose. Why does, why does Unchained lose to D-Barry? No, it doesn't. I'm I mean, saying it if, loses According to Jesse Cotton, it does. <laughs> How? Well, it loses the Xyz. That's it. Yeah, but like, isn't that just a summon the gate? Yeah, I know, but it's a non once per turn summon the gate. It's a good. Oh summon yeah, true. I have literally you've never resolved that summon the gate against me for me to find out that it's not once per turn. And that's, that was like my same argument with like Shifter too. Like, I think that should go instead. Of like, all right, I had no issue with the rise at all. Like, people can suck about all they want. I think they should just put birth to one. Uh, so, sure, should have banned birth. Yeah, yeah, birth that, 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 that that's fine. But like, Shifter is still a thing as well yeah. there's, there are a few decks that can play it like Unchained can play it Rescue mm, a Shift on. Yeah. yeah yeah um I guess um what's the deck the the Chad was playing today what's it called Exorcist 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 could probably still play it. they're still, oh, they're they're still, still solid. easy um they're still like a sleeper deck because people top with it like before as well yeah um, well, nothing's changed for it it's still doing the same thing it's yeah. just depending on the format it either does really great or really shit but yeah, I just I just think they could have cleaned up the format, like not the format, like just um, some problematic cards or more, and then maybe if they do want to go too crazy, get rid of like some of those traps, uh, and then just brought some stuff that like off the list, like harp and and stuff like that, yeah, um, just to kind of reju rejuvenate some older decks or give them. Well, they did that. Something. They released on chain support. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But and you know, in, you know and I mean. support. Yeah, and in for noble support. Yeah, but like I mean, if they, if, if, how like, dare you argue with Konami's ability to <laughs> revitalize old decks? You got fifty percent of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I just the band has sucked. In conclusion, it was, it's uh, really not great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the format really hasn't changed, nor will no. it for a while. Um, if anything, it'll only get worse because we get the Diablo Star thing that just adds an extra negate to most boards. Eh, it's fine. It's not fine. The only reason you're yes, saying okay. it's fine is because you're going to play that card. Yes. So fucking Cuts disgusting. prosperity, puts that in deck. Good work. Also, Porter's Eyes is still a two. Just want to put it out there. Yeah, the card should be a three. Yeah, same as Callback. No, two's the correct ratio. Just going to say it. Yeah, honestly, if it <laughs> came to three, I probably wouldn't play it at three. Yeah. So I, I, I'm kind of used to two. You don't really want to ever resolve two. Yeah. I've done that. I've done that before in Sword Soul. You don't want to, though. It sucked, but... I Plus, it. at least if you've only got two desires, if you desires into a desires, you're not getting two desires. Yeah, you're not going to desire possibly double get desires. two desires. Oh, I don't know. Because that, just that had happened to me, and that's... I think that was, like, when it was first available to me. And I was like, okay, I'm never playing it at three. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> uh, 
the odds of me being able to just banish eight cards and two desires versus me banishing ten cards and drawing the other two desires is too damn high. <laughs> I won't be doing it again. That 0.7% chance. <laughs> ah, fucking hell. What? Um, yeah. But circling back a little bit and uh, talking about uh, old archetypes getting support, we had some exciting announcements for the upcoming Terminal World Pack. Um, they are getting support. So- is this a main set? No, it's a side set. Okay. It's like a builder, builder deck thing. Okay. So they're going to reprint Infernoid in here? Yeah. So there is yeah. no point buying it? <laughs> no. They're literally reprinting... Oh, it actually gives the reprints. Yeah. They just reprint the entire deck. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yep. <laughs> Instead of uh, just giving them a structure deck. Nah. So is well, it... that's the thing. There's going to be heaps of archetypes in this. Really? So is this going to be like a collector rare set well, sort of thing? There's two things. One, like these aren't the only things that were in Terminal Law. There's heaps of other stuff. Plus you had that tweet from um, Konami OCG of the text of um, Monolith translated. Exactly. Um, and then the other thing is too, another skill this is Terminal World 01. <laughs> So oh. they're leaving it open to do it. So it's again just a whole new series of sets. Effectively, yeah. That's but it neat. seems to be centralled only on the Terminal World Law. Terminal World Law. What's Correct. That? Uh, the arcade like, machine you used to be able to play. So it started with uh, like, like dual terminal. What was it? Yeah, no, sorry, I'm wrong. That was dual terminal. Yeah, that, that is that. Oh, it is that? Oh, yeah. so that means Ice Bar Bar is going to get another kind of reach, not retraining, but reprint set thing. I'd like to point out based on that. Oh, for- Ice Barrier support. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. So, yeah. uh, so we start with what I would think is their best card. Uh, Are we going to talk about 10. this garbage? This card is good. Yeah, but the, the Infernoid <laughs> stuff is just so much better. Well, we'll get on to that. You were just on it and you took it away. Yeah, because he oh. gave me segue for Ice Barrier. Oh, yeah, no, I know. So it's a level 10 Water Dragon Synchro. Water. Yeah. Dragon. Yeah. Uh, so once per chain, if your opponent special summons a monster, special summon an ice barrier from your hand, deck, or extra deck, or graveyard, then change one opponent's attack position monster to defense position. And if it leaves the field by your opponent, you special summon the ice barrier synchro from your extra deck, and it's treated as a synchro. Oh, you summon Trish. Correct. Looking for Starlight Trish. You can't um, summon new Trish because it misses timing. Yeah, There's fusion. The no, nah, the, there's the new big Trish Oh, the, synchro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, no it doesn't. Yeah, it has to be summoned chain link one. It is summoned chain link one. This? If it leaves the field, it's synchro summons. Yeah, but if you leave, if it leaves the field at like... Oh, so it activates new chain at chain link one if you... Yeah, okay, cool. They at least did that. Yeah, it leaves the field, summon, and then attack. Yeah. Unless... Um, uh, you, 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 there is a wooden tree. Wait, does this block. miss timing? No, it's an if. Okay. Um, Why can't it be a win? So this one, the summoning from deck and wherever, wherever, is twice per turn. Not twice? No, twice. Twice. Does it have to change something to defense position? Uh, it appears Imagine. it probably does. You can. Okay, so that makes it decent. It's quite good. Yeah. And then all of the ice barrier stuff is like, if you control another ice barrier, floodgate some aspect of the game. Yep. So it seems good. Floodgate um, deck. Speaking of which, they've got a new level six. Um, its floodgate is monsters use your opponent's graveyard can activate their effects while you control another ice barrier. So it's just soul drain. Outs on unchained. Mix. It does. True. But it's also only got twelve hundred defense, so any main deck unchained monster can kill it. <laughs> Literally a normal summon outs it. <laughs> um, and then they've got another tuner that summons oh, tokens. But the synchro changes to defense. You try to take over, it changes it. It does that on the special summon. So if you is it a quick effect to special summon? It's only if your opponent special summons a monster oh, that does the thing. Oh, okay. Also, by the time this comes out, Unchained will be a thing of the past. Like Diablo Star Rescue Ace will be out. There'll be Wait, other shit. What's what's this star card? It's the new archetype. It's the that level comes seven spellcaster. It basically sets a a spell or a trap. I think it is that acts as um, Red Dragon Abyss. It just targets a card and negates it. Oh, oh really. this, the, uh, like, like the synchro card. Yeah, it's, it's oh. also a level one extension package. Ah, oh. is that why Rescue Ace was like really good in OCG? Correct. Oh. It was good, and then it got this as well. God damn it! Next yeah. Sunday night, ten p.m. They're going to announce that they're banning some Rescue Ace cards. Yeah, Hydra to one. I think if anything, they might put Airlifter to one. 
because it's one card full combo. Yeah. I would happily take any hits that they have to offer. Jake really doesn't like Rescue Ace. I don't. It's a oh, back row deck like, in like. effect, and I've never liked back row decks. Sure. But anyway, back onto the thing that they want to talk about. It does do a lot of different things. Just, I don't have I don't have a major I don't have a major issue with it. I would, I hate like I'd rather verse rescue ace with like full back row than like versing purely that just have the unaffected noir and just go have fun. It's okay. We out the unaffected noir. Yeah, but I, I don't. It's so, like the other day, Kurt asked me what like we we're going through our list for orange, and he's like, "How do you out noir?" And I was like, "Literally normal summon impulse is out, noir is done." <laughs> Uh, it affects uh, the player affects by the player. they can't activate the effects highest of the highest monster. attack monster on the board. Ah, uh, so they can't detach and get, get rid of shit. Uh, if they do, you chain and summon from deck. <laughs> oh. It, at the very least, takes four materials off the Noir. Okay, that's pretty cool. Anyway, the other uh, archetype that was announced for support in the Terminal World pack is Infernoid. Uh, so they get a new fusion, uh, just needs two Infernoid monsters, uh, and then it banishes an Infernoid from a grave, and then send an Infernoid, uh, send Infernoid monsters, rather, with different names from each other from your deck to the graveyard, equal to the banished monsters level. So if you use one of the big ones, it's really it sends good. lots of them to the bin. It's so good. <laughs> oh, no. uh, they get a link four. Um, if your opponent special summons monster, tribute one monster and negate the summoned if you do banish those monsters. Um, just and if a uh, card is banished from not your graveyard, turn, solemn. Uh, banish one card on the field. Uh, and then if it's sent to the grave, oh, if it's destroyed by your opponent, special summon an inferno monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So, like, if you go into this and then have Void Feast set, you can, like, have Spell Trap negate, Monster negate, and then get, like, a double Solemn off. It's absurd. Also, in there, there's a DD Crow. Like, it is a Link 4, so they have to invest quite a bit into getting it out. It's a generic Link 4, though, isn't it? Uh, two plus monsters, including an Inferno. Including an Inferno. Oh, that's not that hard to it's do. It's really not. Um, they get a spell. Uh, it's reveal an Inferno monster or a Void spell and trap in hand. Discard the entire hand, then draw the same number of cards you discarded. Cool. Uh, well, it's just to get the Infernoids out of hand because in they do fucking nothing in Yeah, because they just banished to some of the other yeah. shit. Uh, the graveyard effect is probably more prevalent, assuming that you don't die immediately to these new stuff. Um, if it's in the graveyard and all you control is fiends, um, other than the turn is sent there, banish it, target up to 11 banished Infernoids, return them to the graveyard. This resets the game state for them. <sighs> That's... So like if they're out of resources, they just go bloop. All the yeah, that was always the thing with Infernoid. You could grind them out sometimes, and if they ran out of stuff that they could actually banish, they were kind of up shit creek. But this is just like, oh no, I'm out of Infernoids. Anyway, all back. This gave them crazy grind game now. Yeah. Can you use um? So the turn you use the shuffle back effect, you can't use this other effect though, right? No, it's one effect once per. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. At least that's and at least the, that's the thing. The banish to put them back is once per duel. Yes, so you can only do it oh. once per. Oh. Like they realistically, they're, they're really only going to do it once. <laughs> yeah, especially if they're a million a shit ton. Right? And it's up to eleven. Up to eleven. Yeah. yeah. So oh, imagine if they go like, everything. what's that? Is it reasoning where you call the level and you just dump everything? Yeah. Do that and then always call one. Yeah, one. It used to be either four or one, but now it's just one because snow is banned. Yes. <laughs> um. So. They get one more continuous card. Uh, Inferno monsters you control gain 100 attack for each of your banished Inferno monsters. You control no monsters or all monsters you control are fiends. Activate one of the effects. You can either banish um, or add one banished Inferno monster to your hand or special summon an Inferno monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. This is great. Fiends. Oh, one change. Like all these Inferno cards. Yeah, but are once you start doing really Inferno stuff, they put like a level restriction. You can only have up to like a certain level of monsters on board, and then you can't have anything else. That's where the link just says, "Oh well." Yeah, yeah, there is that. Although Unchained has its consistency problems already, I don't feel it needs to be added to. Yeah. Are you putting so, Prosperity in your list? I don't have Prosperity. Oh. You're not always. Are you, are you, uh, surely someone like they could lend them to, maybe. <laughs> We've been over this so many times. I no, don't know. Nobody I don't know. lends them to me. I have asked multiple people oh. multiple times. No one wants to give them to me. I'm the only one that has them, probably. I got, I got a set, but I exactly. I, yes. <laughs> no, but the they're diff they're they're not they're not just like secrets though, so I can't just lend them out. Exactly. If I had secrets, I would lend them to you ages ago. I have secrets, but I play them in every deck. 
You don't play Risk Race? Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, well, fine. Okay, I'm sorry. Great card. Anyway, uh, moving on to some more support, we have um, the new fish support. Now, I won't talk fish. shit about this because I know how much you like this. It's bad. I mean, I like the idea of it. I haven't read into it too Whales. much. <laughs> but yeah, being able to summon white aura whale in its own deck seems kind of fun. Um, yeah, spoilers, it's white aura support. Um, so they get a level 4 and a level 2 that all sort of special summon shit when there's the same name somewhere on the board. Um, they get a new level 6, which is better than White or a Dolphin, because White or a Dolphin sucks. It's like so bad. Like a new Synchro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah White or a Porpoise. You did it all. Porpoise. Porpoise. I know, but it sounds funnier if I say Porpoise. No, it doesn't. I'm being facetious. He's doing porpoise. it on Porpoise. Yeah, yeah, there, he gets it. <laughs> he gets it. Uh, they get a continuous... Except he's saying it properly. <laughs> Oh, I they also get a continuous spell that's really quite good for that archetype. Um, when it resolves, add a fish monster that has fish. an effect to treat itself as a tuner from your deck to your hand. Uh, if your white aura monster is attacked at the end of damage step, you can make it have a second attack, or if it attacked rather. Uh, and then if a level 8 or higher fish synchro is special summoned fish. from your graveyard, you could destroy all monsters your opponent controls. It's pretty good for fish. What's the other, like, fish synchro deck? Go Go yeah, can you mix it with that? Yes. No? Ooh. Yeah. If anything, it's the main way to make white aura work. Because there's not enough, like, main deck white aura Do you think things. those two together can actually, like, be something no. decent? Or is it just kind of <laughs> like, like a fun deck still? It, yeah, it's still just sitting in, like, the fun sort of column. Uh, but more excitingly, we have Magispector support that's also been announced coming out in uh, Photon Nightmare. Andrew's, oh, no, Andrew's very excited Phantom for this. Nightmare. That's, yeah, well, it's, it's just very good support. He was telling to be me fair. about it on, on, uh, yesterday after Digi, and he's explaining it. I was like, yeah, that's kind of correct. It is quite good. The new XE or something. But they do good. desperately need Kieran to come off the ban list for this to be decent. Yeah, yeah. like the, a lot of their effects do resolve around having a level 6 win spellcaster, of which mm. there's only one other, which is Oath Dragon Magician. Yeah. Well, apparently the XZ like, has. Is it Kieran, has it on the artwork or, or something? Yeah, Kieran's like on a fair few artworks. Yeah, yeah. like he's yeah. on the artwork of like all the new stuff. And it's like... Yeah, he's on two of the four so, new cards. But would thing, it be, I don't know what it does, but like, would it be broken if it came back? Kieran? Yeah. Uh, it's good. just a bounce every turn. So it's untargetable, is it a and it bounces every is turn. Is it a pendulum as well? Yeah. yeah. But their scales don't allow them to keep summoning Kieran. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So as long as he's your only scale, then you can keep doing it, basically. Is that right? No, no, so like, he's a level six, but their scales are two and five. So it's quite awkward for them to be going Kieran, Kieran, Kieran every yeah, time. Yeah, because you can't pendulum summon him. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, they get a uh, new level 4. Um, if you control Magispector, special summons itself, and then you can target a Magispector spell uh, in your graveyard and set it when it's normal special summoned. Uh, they get an Xyz that puts itself in scale, um, does some other shit. It's a it's, lot of effects. Specs from deck. Uh, yeah, special summons a level 6 or wind lower. Um, yeah, spellcaster from so deck. Rank 4, spec Kieran. from deck. Yeah. Uh, and then the Link 2. Um, the Link 2's bossed. Yeah, the yeah, Link 2 he told, he adds back the two materials that you used and then gets another two uh, pendulums from adds your deck back. with different names and puts them in the extra deck. So you make it and then you get your scales back. Yep. Yeah, you get scales it's back so and you get two monsters to be able to do new searches. Yep. Yeah. Andrew ex was explaining this to me as well. Like, this the only benefit is this dumb. is the only Magispecta outside of like the extra decky kind of stuff. Um, and the Draco Slayer one that's a cheat um, that can be targeted so you can just input this yeah, yeah. seems like a good they just love though. giving uh, pendulum links that like if you imperm it their turn is over see they just play the Sky Striker card now to protect the extra deck monster I mean yeah that's kind they of just, what they did in pendulum for a little while too eagle booster protect it yeah but that also that's, adds like a bricky card to their deck as well oh they want to draw it like, I want to draw the, the eagle booster yeah. yeah and then the quick play I'll spell uh, special Clean summoner magic specter from your hand or sure. graveyard uh, uh, if you contribute oh hang on or if you tributed a monster at activation from oh so you contribute instead to special from deck yeah. okay yeah so really good support for a deck that no one's really thought of for quite some time I'm gonna dig through my bulk tonight and find it 
already have all my Kieran setting aside for when and if he comes off the ban list. I've when is this released? Well. Unless, oh, what's uh, the... Like not, we won't get it till like July. Yeah, uh, it's January. not our next main set, it's our main set oh, after. I was going to say, so, yeah, this it won't was be like, till post if this lined up with the next ban list, then... Nah, we, you know, like, there'll be a ban list before we get this set. Yeah, surely they, they release that card, like, it makes well, sense. that's the you thing, they've had the habit, it's more so been with the Riders, but they could just do a um, Ancient Fairy Dragon type thing, being like, Kieran's uh, off the list, as of this day. Uh, so you think they did arrive? also release a full wave of heavy metal foes support and still kept Electromite banned. <laughs> there is that too. Oh. Yeah. yeah. But do you think they, they got would, another uh, link? Fuck them. Do you think <laughs> would, do you think Kieran deserves the errata or do you think he should just come off? Oh, let's bring it up. Yeah. Like, it's it's legal in the OCG. It never got banned. Yeah. Is, like, it, kind of, is, it, is it kind of like a Danglong situation where like it was like dumb broken and now it's, you know it was just fine. so back in the day when you could just pen summon every turn. It yeah. was bad because yeah. you just go bounce, summon it again, bounce, summon it again, bounce, summon it again. But now it's awkward with your scales, and you got to go to a zone. And because no one yeah. was using it in the deck that it belonged in, by the way, they oh. were just using it in metal. You folks. played it in metal foe where your scales ah. one seven, and every turn you just go summon, bounce, summon, bounce, summon. Bounce. So we're getting this and more metal foe support. No, no, we've already had the metal foe yeah. support. We had oh. metal foe support like two years ago, and oh, everyone like I, I shout, I shouted from the rooftops, being like, "Electromite's coming back." Yeah. Didn't. Yeah. Felt too good, but like this link seems, this new one. The seems, link's pretty good. Yeah, but is it a uh, generic pendulum link or is it? Uh, it two pendulums, including a magispector. Okay, well yeah. that yeah. balances a little bit. Then. Well, it's, that's the thing. It needs to return magispectors to your hand to be able to dump magis magispectors from the deck. Up yeah. to two though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it will, regardless, always get you one. Yeah. Okay. Also, the new magispector cards all spec from deck anyway. So yeah. So at least they, they put some kind of restriction on it. Yeah. yeah. If it was generic pendulum, then maybe we have an issue. Although the the replays I've seen of it have been obnoxious because obviously the Draco Slayer one searches a field spell and they're all they spell also casters, secret village. So they're just yeah, playing secret Andrew village. Told me that too. Secret village is one of their archetypal cards. <laughs> Anywho, uh, moving on, we have another archetype getting support in Phantom Nightmare, and that is the Horus cards, oh, the so level I'm, eight cards, more Horus cards. Uh, so now we get an actual Horus card. Uh, the other ones have all been Sons of Horus. This is just Horus. Horus. <laughs> uh, the Black oh, Flame Deity. Um, oh, it's not just called Horus, damn. Yeah, no. no imagine. It just says Horus. Horus. <laughs> so they're doing a retrain of like the Horus, like the level ones? Not no, specifically. So. Oh, so it's just okay. related by name, not by typing or oh, okay. play style or anything. Um, so if you control a Horus monster and a King Sarcophagus, reveal it in hand and send a card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Um, send one card from the field to the graveyard. Any any card on the field? Yes. Damn, Daniel. Uh, and then if it face up King Sarcophagus and or Horus monster other than itself, it uh, leaves the field by an opponent's card, special summon it from the hand, and then send all other monsters on the field to the graveyard. Well. Wow. Uh, and then the field spell treats its name as King Sarcophagus. It's actually called Stonewall of the Imperial Tombs. You will forget that name because once it's on board, it's no longer that. <laughs> it's called Sarcophagus. Is it, um, is it only while it's on the field? or is While it like... it's in the field zone. Ah, okay. So you can't yeah. like search, search it as if it was the other card. No. Or... no, it, it, it doesn't do... harpy later you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you can add a Horus monster from your deck to your hand and then place a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Um, and if you activate the effect of Horus the Black Flame Deity, you can draw one card. And this is the second wave of it, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. And the first wave, they all have Horus in the name, right, as well? Yeah, they're all sons of Horus from memory. Yeah, but in the OCG, they did not do very much. Really? Yeah. I'll, well, I hope, well, hopefully that's the case, because I'm actually keen to actually like, build it and put it together, yeah. and I don't want it to be like end up being like insanely good, and then it like, kind of puts me off grabbing it all because everyone will just be playing it so. here's the thing that kind of played out in the TCG with the Sprite versus Tier uh, OCG was big on Sprite Tier was like the second run deck it was like not super big on release and then the TCG looked at that and went nah fuck it Fusey Women <laughs> but I did tell originally the, like it out. did flip eventually also the big factor is uh, in the OCG Horus is exclusively being grass decks yes something that we don't have uh, yeah so what are the um what is the first wave when you dump if you like grass them all they the spec from grave and special. do oh, shit okay. yeah 
Yeah. Look, they'll probably do some shit in the TCG from what I've seen, again, of replays. It's like just a synchro spam engine because you just get like the level 8 on board, summon your like um, little level 2 synchron dude, Chaos make Angel. Barone, blah blah blah. Oh, oh Revolution Synchro. No, no, no. The other one. What's it called? Assault Synchro. That one. Looking for quarter century areas. They're a lot cheaper. You should buy them from a uh, nondescript Melbourne Yu Gi Oh store. They'll send you quarter century areas every day of the week. Yeah, definitely not ones that they've drawn by hand. <laughs> definitely not just secrets. <laughs> oh, you will. Yeah. Now, if I, want, oh, if I wanted Jesus. to get the wrong card, I'd just buy a cherry. I danced around <laughs> saying it. <laughs> oh, wait, why did I dance around saying it? I'm banned from this store anyway. Yeah. Fuck yeah, cherry true. collectibles. The worst thing's already happened to you. Yeah. What's well, it's, like, it's happened to me anyway, so I don't give a shit. Wait, so it's happened to three of you now? Yeah. And yeah. it's happened to Leo twice. Remember I bought the Starlight Cheesy and got the Chenyu? I don't know why I was Leo like, went back. <laughs> Oh he God. had it happen to him, and then he was like, I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, he went back And they fucked the... him again. He had a voucher. <laughs> and then they fucked up his order on the voucher. It's so dumb. It's so bad. Um, we have our next V Jump promo having been hinted at. Uh, so this one is called Pendulum Witch. It is a Hello. level 3 Earth Pendulum monster. Uh, we it's don't gonna know be a spellcaster. Shocking. I think it could be, I think it'll be a, uh, a machine. Earth machine. Oh. Those Didn't think before. about that. Yep, it's a machine group target. Yep. Anyway, uh, the hint that we get is guarantees your chances of victory 8 to 9 times out of 10. Ew. <laughs> what? It's gonna be fucking like die roll related or some shit. What do you mean by 8 to 9 times? That, that's just what it says. Yeah, we, don't know, we don't know its effect. Effect is secret. Shh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when... Jake's not just trying to hide stuff. It's generally, no, no, no. It's the usual secret it, box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, actually, no, you can't see. I demonstrated that when I um, put Just my... screenshot it and put it on the screen. No, oh, I'm not no. doing that. Ben doesn't oh. edit. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have to so... edit enough. If I remember to. Um, he doesn't remember, is what I was saying. Oh, sorry, I forgot about this archetype as well, coming out in Phantom Nightmare. The uh, retrain ritual garbage from nearly 20 years ago. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, it it's is pretty deck. much that. They're all the same um, set as your bell. Yes. There's a lot coming in the your bell set. Some of it really good, some of it really cheap. I'm just keen for I would count stuff. this it in the looks, It just looks interesting. It I, looks just, I just hope it doesn't like really take off, because I don't know. It's gone. People like Jake will spend money on it. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely like, buy it so regardless, but it's not as enjoyable picking up something that I think is going to be fun when it's going to be like saturated. If that makes sense. I think there's going to be a lot out there to buy because everyone's going to be ripping it open for the other stuff. What are, what's the really broken stuff on this set? That's where we get that level 1 negate support. Diablo Star. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, at least that will be the sort after and then I can focus on, focus on Horus. Oh, I think these. Yeah, was... There is confirmed one Horus secret already. Ah, <laughs> uh, in, in, the, in the second wave. Yeah. What about in the first wave? Oh, no, in the first no, wave. No, it's in the Sorry, first wave because it's the uh, ultra promo card. Yeah. Uh, oh, and that'll be quarter century too. Yeah, yeah, they're all quarter centuries. Yeah. True, very true. Uh, but anyway, moving on to the garbage ritual type. Um, so yeah, as I hinted at before, they are all um, semi-retrains of old cards. Uh, this one is just of a ritual spell, like that character yeah. featured on the ritual spell. Um, while it's on the board, I think it um, does something. They're all kind of meh. But yeah, they're all a little bit cheap. nonetheless, because they're all retrains of old, of old rituals. Yeah. So you've got that one that's from... The art stuff is um, more interesting. Novox's yeah. the Prayer. Law. Ben the Law. So you've got Novox's Prayer being a monster, Saphira being now a more uh, woman-looking dragon queen thing. They all um, like human forms, basically. Yeah, Saravis now having a human no form. And uh, Skull Guardian now having... I don't know, more... Yeah. And then they get another ritual spell, uh, a continuous spell, and a trap. The trap actually seems okay. Target cards your opponent controls up to a number of light warrior and dragon ritual monsters you control, destroy them, and then destroy the continuous card. Right. My Sephira had to be light gone up to the moon. Why did it have oh, to actually? be light warrior? Because, like, dry time. No lights. splashing! <sighs> but big splash! No. <laughs> no splash. Well, wait for the whale support then. Yeah, yeah, they splash. Do, they do big splashes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, lastly on product news, we have the TCG Crimson King structure deck having been announced. Um, 
all the same kind of stuff that you'd really expect. I don't think there was like a great deal of deviation from the OCG no, one. They reprinted Hot Red and then it was like, oh yeah, cool. The Calamity or the other one? All of them. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Calamity didn't get hit on the list no. either. No, it didn't. And it really should have because kind of cringe. Yeah. Um, we also got that vanilla card that does nothing. Well, most vanilla. Oh, yeah, first no, it's, it's all vanilla literally do not do, You can't play it in the door. It's yeah, got yeah. attack and defense stat, and it says you can't play in the door. And it's, so not, a, it's not a prize card? No, it's no. just it, in the structure. It has, that is the art. It's jack out. It has 3,000 oh, attack, yeah, yeah. and it is a human, and uh, you cannot play it. Human. So you can't use it in a duel, so you can't even be like, oh, this is my jack jack. This is my token. Uh, token. You, no. Yeah, people still use them for tokens anyway, like, no one cares. Yeah, and you'll get them get banned. <laughs> yeah, but I wouldn't use it. Someone uses a token, I'm like, yeah, go for it. I don't give a fuck. I mean, yes, to my opponents at Alliance on Sunday, you are uh, <clears throat> welcome to try and use that token. <laughs> I need the wins. <laughs> I need the wins. <laughs> uh, moving on to our questions, though. If you wonder where we do have a Discord, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first one this week comes to us from Six Scythe Six. Uh, when, for, when will C for G post in Facebook again? Great question. I don't think we have control of it. I mean, we definitely don't. Yeah. So it's a uh, brag, has it then? Maybe. I would assume so. If it's attached to the Google account, then no one has control. Who, who's it's like, gone. Who's like OG like Savage? You and Brag? No, it's definitely like, not me. It's like Blake, Brag, and Lachlan. I think. Yeah. Oh, maybe okay. Blake oh, and Brag. Okay. So um, maybe, maybe Blake has it. Maybe. Oh god, then it's definitely lost. Lost yeah, in the void. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. I know that like I'm too busy to post on socials because i have like work socials and even then they're generated for me and i just have to press a button so for me to like bespoke go out and make content for facebook just seems no, like it's not gonna happen i don't post on any social media no you don't facebook's not really the the best place to be doing social media stuff anyway nah post, post everything you want there conspiracy theories everywhere true i'm gonna post my theories on facebook about how the jack atlas token was a uh, token yeah that it was yeah, hear me out, Token hear me out. Big spot. So, <laughs> they they made that because they wanted to incorporate the Lord of the Rings into the game because you have the Lord of the Rings stuff's over in Magic and they're like, no, no, not enough. We need to make our own Toklans. And then... What, J-I-R Toklans? Yes. <laughs> and then... No, but they just want people to get DQ'd. <laughs> That's uh, why they printed yes. the fucking The Hand of the King and those cards. Yeah. More people just, that take you cute. The, like the game's game. already at its highest level of complexity. Let's just add these little traps along the way of being like, <laughs> you like Jack Atlas, bam. <laughs> yeah, Bro. you can like Sky Striker all you like, apparently, as long as you pay the money. But if you like humans, get out. Humans. Uh, but yeah, to answer your question, no idea. Uh, next question. Did Brad is... respond to that? Or uh, Deva, I'm going to miss this question. Ah, oh, okay. Damn. Next question. Oh, hang on, no, that was a different question. He responded to the next question, which is from Tuesday's Noob. Why do you think Yu-Gi-Oh! is so far behind the other two big uh, CCGs in terms of how many people podcast and how big those podcasts are? So, like, Magic and Pokemon, like, content. Yeah. Long-form content gets shit loads of views. Yes. And clicks. I think it's just Pokemon's just bigger in general. So, like... like the tempo of those games is longer, so people are willing to sit down and not pay attention for a while. Whereas our games are done so quickly <laughs> yeah. that long form content, no. Like, it was relatively recent that, like, a YCS final was five minutes long. Because they just got fucked. Welcome to you. Well, probably like the streams and stuff, they go for longer anyway because they've got like the car game uh, and then VGC. Oh, yeah, Pokemon like, streams go for yeah. like an entire weekend. Yeah. Yu Gi Oh is slowly. Yu Gi Oh streams go for an entire blog article. <laughs> <laughs> you, can I be just. People like Yu Gi Oh events just don't make the effort. It's like. No. They're getting there, to be fair. It's just like how hard is it just, you know, get some gear together, stream the event, and just make it like. Just make it into just make it solid. Outlook. Like, come on, let's just put the effort in. Or you could write it down. True. Yeah. You and could, then and just so no one reads it. You could not pay oh, someone to write it all down for someone else to not read it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's. I've never read it ever. Maybe it's will. Konami trying to change the mentality around Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, oh Yu-Gi-Oh players don't read, so they're like, 
No, fuck you. We're only doing written coverage. Read. They're trying to teach us. Imagine that. They actually had a live stream, but it was like Star maybe, Wars text of maybe. it just floating up the screen of what was happening. Okay, Ben, Ben, <laughs> hear me out. I'm taking a quote from you. So we're, we're lazy and we don't read is because Konami's also lazy. They don't do shit. Mm. He's calling you out, Jerome. <laughs> It's about the 20th time he's addressed to Rome in the last two weeks. He doesn't watch, bro. Otherwise, we'd already be banned. It's I want him to respond so bad. Just to see I'm what... I'm going to call out Jerome every week. Jesus. Calling you out, Jerome. <laughs> <laughs> Next question, Jake. Next question from 6 i 6 Will Salman Great still be Salman Mid given Gazelle to three on the newest ban list? Jake read this question this time. Yeah, it's still going to be Salman Mid. It it's, doesn't change it does the how same good thing. the deck is. It just changes, oh, um, I've definitely seen my Gazelle this time as opposed to, oh, I had to search for my Gazelle. Like, they still had three circle. If they're not seeing Gazelle, they're not trying. Activate shifter. Pass. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, deck is just does the same thing. Yeah, it literally doesn't change anything. Also, I don't like how much you're push pushing Salomon Great content on this podcast. I need you to stop. It's a Josh fan, and we don't like that. Yeah, we, we're not about that here. We don't like Josh. <laughs> he doesn't watch, he won't find out. Uh, uh, we'll tell him directly, it's fine. But that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are listening, feel free to favourite. It really helps us in the back. Uh, if you want to jump onto uh, YouTube, like and subscribe. Uh, jump to our Discord. Uh, ask me some questions for next week, and we'll catch you all then. Peace. Bye.